This was a great explore. This condo construction site became victim of the COVID-19 shutdown. So come along, let's go check it out. This building here was under construction and then it went bankrupt. The building was designed for apartments as you can see up in here. We'll check those out in just a second. Those are kind of semi-finished, but not completely. And then over here, you can see where it just kind of went in phases. And the uh, last part of the construction over here is not done. Here's the garage parking that would go in there. But I'm gonna climb all the way to the top using the stairs. You see what kind of view I get all the way up there and check those out and see what kind of suites they are. I think that'll be really cool too. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Now I will tell you that it is really windy right now. And because of that, I'm going to try to narrate the best I can. Now you can see where the water has collected at the bottom of this elevator shaft. But look up here. Man, that is way up there. That is crazy insane. But we'll be up there looking down a little bit later on in this video. But man, that is incredible. Well, let's go take a look at this hideaway. And as you can see here, there's the stairs that go up around the elevator. This is very common in Asia. Actually, nice area to kind of sleep too, which I'm sure that people have done. Okay. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what's happening here. I'll put this on fast forward so you don't really have to watch the whole thing. And we'll come back. Although I will check out one of these rooms here before I go all the way up. Now this looks like some kind of a laundry chute. Oh no, just for the um, water, the plumbing, and everything else. Again, not complete. There's one of the rooms over here. No, yeah, the toilet here looks like the sink there with the shower. Anyway, this is about the size of a bathroom. Not very big. Plus, these rooms are not very big as well. These are more like studio apartments. And I wonder if people have been in there trying to grab cable since this has already been pre-cut like this or if the cuts are there on purpose. You can kind of see where you know you got the fire alarm but you can kind of see where the lights were gonna go in. Those are kind of set in place. And then you have a little patio out here and you can see where this has all been chipped in and everything else too. So and it's um it's a little bit of a drop there. Yeah, some overgrown brush. So this has been abandoned for quite a while. I'd say at least, uh, you know what? I'd say at least a couple of years because this was probably one of the victims of the uh, COVID-19 shutdown. And it just broke this guy's bank and he uh, wasn't able to complete the job. Let's go down this. Yeah, here you're seeing the piping. Come down here in one of these little doorways here. It's uh, some sample of some tile that was going to be in here. Black tile. You can see all the cords in here and a little bit of furniture as well. Not to mention the fact I'm just walking on glass right now. Gotta avoid that. But yeah, it looks like uh, for maybe, yeah, shelves. And I guess a TV would go in here. That looks like a backrest for a bed. You can see how they have these slats in here, so when they put something on there, they'll just automatically hang. <clears throat> and again, your small size bathroom. Maybe we'll see one that's a little bit more complete. See a little bit of an overhang right there with a ceiling on that. And that, definitely sink. Definitely toilet and then shower or a bucket, whatever way.
Look at these bricks in here that they use. This is really super cool. And yep, designed for the pipes. Another room. This looks like a much bigger room in this area. Because you got this huge patio area out here. I'm not even sure if that's for the patio or not. There's the parking garage right there. They even got the space here for the fire extinguisher, which would be hanging here. And not too sure what this room would be used for. And this looks like these are sign offs. This is the construction permit. And this was put up in May 19th of. One second, May 20th of 2019. Uh, yeah, that's about right. And about six months later, seven months later, uh, is when the COVID-19 started here in Asia that was transmitted from uh, China. So that's a typical uh, business construction or a construction update form to let everybody know where you're at. down here. Gotta be careful because I don't have shoes on. And double elevator system. This is a much bigger elevator than the one we looked at before. Sorry about the wind if it's affecting it. I'm trying to keep it out as much as possible. And then another one. And we'll take a look when we get to the very top. I have to keep my eyes down. Look at this. Straight down. It looks like this is a kitchen area because you can see where it's preformed areas. Even even to the right here, another preformed area where it looks like you have drainage for sinks. Oh. Oh. Here's one that's all tiled up and ready to go. Just give you an idea of the restrooms in here. Pretty cool. Can't wait to get to those suites at the very top. So let's get back to the stairs. I'll put this on fast forward and we'll get up there really, really super quick. Hopefully I won't have as much wind noise here in the stairwell so I can talk a little bit better. I'm at right now. Let's just get a little. I like doing this, it gives you a concept of holy shit. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a reality check. Way over here that's on the side, the emergency exit. Because I know I saw some stairs over here. Yeah, here we go. The uh, well, the thin stairs. Yep, I still have a ways to go. We're getting some great views from up here. 
Big C Extra, great place to go eat. up here. Look at this one. This reaches right onto a uh, balcony. You can see where a lot of the electrical has already been put in here. But no drywall like you have in the lower floors. Bigger bathroom for sure. View, right? Well, we still have some more floors to go up to. Yeah, those are probably the private floors up there, so we'll check those out right now. But yeah, that's so, oh my goodness, look at that view, folks. Look at that view. Wow, let's get a better view. Let's get to that roof. of these open areas over here I'm not sure if that's for not that can't be garage parking let's go take a look that's not Ferragamo it's got to be a knockoff yeah. Oh, there's the other pair. Um, never heard of a drink called Hong Fong, but sounds like something you might want to drink with a girl wearing a thong in Hong Kong while watching King Kong. Yeah, I could do that all day long, folks. way into this room which is pretty cool a lot of different obviously design plans for other big families like for a restaurant or something in here there's a lot of pipes coming up and a lot of indentations which you would say that you know what they're going to put something in here this might be a lounge area i'm sure of it it's very expensive lots of pipes coming up definitely uh, some type of eating area there's something going on with that there's the storm in the distance that I was referring to. Well, this is the reason why it's windy right now. There's definitely a storm coming in. Definitely kind of freaked me out a little bit. Let's go over here and see if there's any stairs happening. Yeah. One missing. 
this step. I can't emphasize that enough. I like my life. So I need to be very careful. Now this is a huge elevator. <laughs> Look down. Holy crap. Yeah. That is scary. Lots of elevators. See? I chipped right there. Well, here I'm walking through. I had to get rid of the outside audio. The wind was just too much, but you can look at all the debris around here that's been collecting over the years. And again, you really have to watch your step on what you're doing. I don't even know what's under these boards. Uh, could be an empty void like the one that's coming up here on the left or the right. As you just saw, there's plenty of voids there. So you really have to kind of watch out what you're doing when it comes to walking around. I, I mean, this is really halfway done as far as construction. So much debris, so much trash, and at the same time, awesome, fascinating stuff to walk through. Look at the view right there. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. I'm way up there. Uh, I'm not even at the top yet. It's a solid piece of a concrete bag that was left and has turned into hard cement over the years. I probably should have dropped that down the elevator shaft or even this one right here. I should have put a coat around it and that hard hat and made it look like somebody was falling down the shaft. I think that would have been pretty cool. And now we're going to get right back into the corridor where there's no wind. So here we go. In the corridor so that really cuts down the wind a lot so I can talk a little bit better. Oh yeah, I get another entryway into a small room here. And these are small rooms. I'm gonna say these are studio size, but typically you'll find a couple people living in here. It's too bad this never finished, but I guess they didn't have enough pre-sales. And even if they did, nobody's gonna wait unpredictably until the ridiculous COVID-19 scare is completely over. They're just gonna take back their deposits and say, forget about it. All right, here we are on top of the roof. And again, extremely windy. Look at those clouds in the background. There was definitely um, a storm moving around there. And we have the top of the elevator shaft. I got a feeling there's probably more to be done up here uh, as far as what they're going to have on the top. But again, look at that view. I'm going to step over here to the edge and just really get a good look at that. The mountains in the background, such great greenery. I, I mean, this is really fantastic. And yeah, I'm going to step over here to the edge while I'm watching what I'm doing. And man and again a lot of things you can trip over and fall to your death so again you have to be really weary of where you're walking and what you're doing that huge condos in the background is pointed to those are finished condos and i'm sure this is going to be something very similar to that as well and then you got the elevator shaft that's all the way over there at the very very top we're going to take a look at that in just a second but yeah, this is, you know what? Let's go take a look at, I think this is an elevator shaft right here. Maybe I'll pick up a rock and we'll just toss it down and see how long it takes to fall. Yes, indeed, that was a long drop. I think that went down about 14 stories. There's the stairs that wrap around the elevator for the emergency exit stairs. And again, just another great view of the scenery that we have around here. I'm gonna get right to the edge of this building and just give you a view of what it looks like from the very bottom there. Yeah, definitely, ooh, 
Oh my goodness. Wow, that just kind of, even sitting here looking at it, I, my, my, my hands are getting a little bit sweaty. That is crazy. But yep, yeah, talk about living on the edge. I should play that song by Aerosmith. Living on the edge. And we're going to walk back down the stairs now and uh, get to some lower levels and see how that turns out. But that's, that's, that's really super cool stuff. And um, we'll slowly start progressively making our way down. We still need to get to the uh, garage area as well and take a little bit more, uh, take a little bit more of a look. Which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, I mean, you gotta... Is this a room or is... It just looks like a very small area up here. Maybe it was supposed to continue into this area up in here as well, since there's an overhang and you got sprinklers. Yeah, so you got line, yeah, electrical right there. So yeah, this must lead off to an outdoor porch that was never finished. Yeah, you can see right here, these are all outdoor porches. This is the extended one. So definitely the bigger room on this. I don't know, man, I don't think I'd want to out on that right but there's the uh, there's the other balcony down there let's go down one more flight we'll check this out and see if that's designed for a really 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 super rich person and I want you to join me on my journey what this is for but you can obviously tell this is probably going to go down yeah that would have been one hell of a drop holy crap and again as i walk around here is this set up for a room is this or is this a more like a like a smoking area or something i really don't know Well, here we are on this balcony, and look at these bricks, these uh, wood-fired bricks, uh, very commonplace in construction here in Thailand. I Personally, I think they're just really cool. I just like the way they look. Uh, apparently very solid building material mixed in with concrete. And this is the side of the balcony on the room. And again, a small room, small bathroom, but it has an about, and I don't know if the balcony extends all the way through, like maybe this is their private area or something. I have no idea. Again, without looking at the blueprints, it's kind of hard to tell. But you can see, obviously, where this just extends out. And then you have that overhang on the other side. And there's, I have no idea what I'm pointing at there. I apologize. But you can see some of the construction material around here. This looks like it's designed for borders on the, uh, that, that would border around the balcony. Again, this is, this is a guess. Uh, if, if you have a better idea, let me know. But as I'm walking around here, you can see all the pile of debris that has sat in here for such a long time. This, this wood <clears throat> looks like it's burned, but in fact, this is the wood that they use in order to do the stairs they're, they're basically cement forms that are debris that's left over. And then look at this. I mean, there's a plant growing right in the middle of the balcony on top of this debris, which just goes to show you that anything can grow anywhere. Wow, that's amazing. There's even a smaller plant right behind it. Yep, there it is right there. That's, that's cool, growing among all the bricks and debris and rocks. That's just kind of a cool thing. What are these bottles? I, I saw a few of these bottles laying around with an M on it. I don't know what that's for, or maybe it's milk and magnesia. I don't know, uh, but I found a few of those lying around. And then as I was getting ready to leave, 
I spotted this bottle and I saw a symbol on there and I had to go around and ch check it back out. And then sure enough, yeah, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. There you go, a nice uh, bottle of water there for you. And I thought that was kind of cool looking as well. So let's get back into the quarters and let's see what's going on. Let's track on to the other side and then we'll head on down. And then we'll check out that driving um, that parking garage. You need a helmet. There's one right there. Oh yeah, we've already been down here. So let's head on down to the parking garage. There we go. Turned on my light so I can see what's going on here. Much better. There's the darker areas. That's four. This might sound like a lot of um, Where the stairs, they're literally half, half this size going around the elevator. So, you're going to say, there's no way. No, that's it. You might have to get upstairs. Plenty of money on the parking garage. You're going to check out the stairs. That's it. Otherwise, you're going to stop. And just see what's over there because the parking garage is going to be on the end as well, so I don't want to miss it. Now, I got to say, this is a nice building. It's up for sale. So if you have any interest, please, by all means, contact your local representative. I have no idea who that would be, by the way. It just sounded official. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Look at that. There's another view right there. That's just beautiful. Really. See out in the distance? The storm right there? Probably be raining by the time I'm uh, editing this video. Now keep in mind, this is what I like to do when I'm in Asia. I love abandoned buildings. For example, this is abandoned, but it was still under construction. I also like buildings that have closed down that I can go in and explore and see what might have been or was. <clears throat> Eventually this will be completed. If someone buys it, it's going to be demolished. Oh, look at this. So I'm not even going to get near this step. Oh, yeah, those are for the stairs, and they haven't finished the stairs here yet either. So, oh, there's the wood. That's where the wood came from, right there. Do you see it? Yeah. The wood came from uh, forming the concrete. Now we come around a corner here, and there's an elevator shaft right there. I'm gonna toss a rock. See the actual splash. One, two, three. Wow. <clears throat> that just freaks me out. With it. Definitely getting closer to the bottom. Then we got some side rooms over here. Okay, here we go. Now we're back into the um, 
main area again. Again, a different type of brick inlay here as well, which is interesting. These look like kitchen facilities or or something, or they're rooms. Yeah, these are, okay, these are rooms. I think. It's kind of hard to guess what would have been here in this section. Okay, let's get down to that next level and see what's going on. Yeah, so they dug it out here to get the piping inside the wall. Then they placed this over it to hide it. Okay, I see what they're doing. I see what they're up to. Yeah, so they put the pipes up against it. Then they put these pre-measured things on here to even out with the electrical. Very interesting. So it's just an overlayment to balance out all the uh, plumbing. And this is a raw bathroom. That's not done yet. You can see this is where the water supply is probably coming from. It's right up in there. It would have been cool if this was finished so I could see what the rooms actually look like. Yeah. That storm's getting closer, so. Let's get down to the next level. Just so I can have a nice, easy walk down the uh, garage parking area. Yeah, so there's some areas in here that just kind of intertwine go in between like a little hallway there. That was kind of a interesting secret hallway there. Oh yeah, see here you got the tile down. Oh yeah, this is a finished, pretty much finished right up in here. Tile. Tile up in here. Got that nice little echo where everything bounces off. Stuff is put in here, but yeah. This would be uh, your typical bathroom. Pretty much guaranteed that's gonna be your toilet. And there's your sink. And then that's gonna be your shower. Without a doubt. Everything is all in one bathroom, by the way. So you can literally shit, shower, and shave all in one place. But again, very, very small rooms. Let me put this on a better perspective for you. And you can see here, this is the porch area. Right there. Drain for the water that comes out. But yeah, these are studio apartments. I think they're probably a little bit bigger than this. This is nice for one person, uh, but that's about it. You know what, someone's been, um, yep. Someone's been pulling the wire out of here. I'm sure this was all wired. And now it's gone, because this has definitely been pulled out, so. Hmm. Okay, here we go down. By the way, B-Jump, B, that's not a basement. It just has a base floor at the first floor. So where you go up to the second flight is not. Um, floor two at the first floor, that makes sense to it. So these are not a basement, A-Jump. But you have like a garage parking or something. Okay, I think we can get to the garage parking over here. Let's give that a shot. 
Again, watch him being very careful with the glass. you folks it's it's yeah it's it's getting closer I don't know if you can tell from here or not from my last uh, shot of it but it's definitely getting closer Bangkok Hospital right there but you can see that we're in Hat Yai but it looks like Bangkok Hospital is just the major hospital here in Thailand because we're in Hat Yai, which is way down south, near the border of Malaysia. And Bangkok is further, much further up north. Oh yeah, here we go, Raj Park. Yeah, so this would make sense. All the cars park up here. And then you have the entrance going into wherever you're going. If that just made any sense. And that water just trickles on down. You can tell here the water really just kind of splashes down right in this one area. And if you look up, you see that little light up there? Yep, that's where the rain comes down and trickles right down into here. And you can see how that just kind of formed right there. And how it kind of formed right, right, right up in here. Kind of interesting. Never seen that done before. Huh. Very cool. Yeah. I would have to call this the beer of Asia. Right here, Leo beer and also Tiger beer. It's very popular in uh, Vietnam, but Leo is a very popular brand here in Asia. I just looked at it and could tell that was a uh, Leo beer bottle. So here we got the, the rounding wrap, ramp. Rounding wrap. Let's go ahead and venture on down the uh, parking garage. Hey, this would be fun on a dirt bike. Especially with all the debris in the way and everything else, that would be really cool. Again, these look like uh, two small elevator positions right here, and they are. And don't jump over, because you're going to be met with that. Or, I don't want to jump over that. I might find that you would jump over that. I would definitely not jump over that. Watch out for broken glass. See, you just gotta watch out for this stuff. Just keep your eyes open. Going through abandoned buildings is just like hiking. You don't know what you're gonna come up against. You gotta keep your eyes in the protective mode, like you're looking for something ahead so you don't want to put your That's what they Hey, Tommy. It's my brother. He's been very patient. He can't he can't walk with me. The reason why is because he has uh, heart issues. So not surprisingly, he got heart issues. I have to take him. Uh, 
stupid booster shot. Because remember how the original shot, the COVID-19 shot, was supposed to be, and I don't call it a vaccine, it's supposed to be the end all? No. No, it's uh, the new word, the next generation is booster. Booster, booster, booster. Not my cup of tea. I don't do shots, I just do natural immunity. And that's the way I uh, live my life. I'm not a mandate guy. Are you? Do you uh, bend over backwards when the government tells you what to do? When they tell you this is good for you? I'm not going to get too political, but it just blows me away. Always an overreaction and never a logical one. All right. Well, here we are back down at the base. Let's take a look at it from the top. There's the parking garage right there, as I pointed out. And then we were all the way up there with those balconies and everything else. So, but yeah, very small rooms. And it looks like this was also going to encompass a restaurant midway up the floors as well. So, very cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. And believe it or not, you know what, while I'm in Thailand, you think I've eaten Thai food? I did eat spicy Thai food, seafood spaghetti yesterday. And I uh, was crying and I had snot running down my nose. That's how spicy it was. So, but I do like uh, the pizza company here in Thailand they make great pizza I always get the supreme but I don't get the pineapples on it I'm not a huge fan of pineapples but yeah um, I'll be in Thailand for the rest of my life so I hope you join me because I will be filming for years to come and hopefully my wife and I will be able to open up a business down here as well and if that happens I'll be glad to have you on board so you can watch that progress as well that's probably a couple years down the road but we're seriously looking into uh, doing Thai massage here, just in a more unique fusion type of way, not the typical Thai massage that you would expect. So that's gonna be fun. Very similar to the story we ran back in uh, Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, just a little more modernized and adapted for the uh, consumer that's even more comfortable than what we had before. All right, we're gonna head on back. Thanks for watching, and uh, well, hopefully you subscribe and like, and we'll uh, see you soon. Thanks a lot, folks. Take care. Bye bye. Hobo Jim Asia.